Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here. So my name's Gail, and I'm the GM of expatwoman.com. Just to give you a bit of an overview, in case you've not heard of us, but hopefully you have, we're actually the number one English language website for women in Dubai, the UAE, and the GCC. And we're also in the top 10 websites in the UAE, full stop. Um, so we've been, we've been looking at what do women want. We know it's really important for brands to find out how to market to women. We want to understand our readers and members more as well. So we've been performing some in-depth surveys on different topics. So the topics that we've looked at already are, so we started off with technology, then we moved on to banking and finance, and then we looked at women in the workplace in the UAE. And we've had some really surprising results as well. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of some of the top statistics, and all the reports are available for download as well. So we started with women in technology. We'd noticed a big change in our website and what people were using to access the website on. Um, traditionally, it had been very, very laptop-driven, desktop-driven, and obviously Apple was a real favorite with our users. But what we'd really noticed was obviously the death in the users using BlackBerry, but also a massive increase in people using Samsung and using Nokia as well. So we decided to conduct a proper in-depth study of over 1,000 women on their behaviors towards technology. So we found that 85% of the respondents actually had more than two mobile in their home. 40% of them were researching online when they were making these decisions on what to buy. So they weren't looking in magazines for which phone to buy, they were actually doing lots and lots of research. And then 62% were buying actually on recommendation, whether it was word of mouth recommendation, personal recommendation, or social recommendation as well. And we were providing all that as a website for them to be able to do their research. So 58% of them own a tablet. Apple's winning that race, of course. 89% um, of them are apples. And 47% of the women were actually doing in-store price comparisons when they were going shopping. So this is really key for retailers, that when people are in your store, they're actually on the devices and they're looking at different prices. So if you're not competitive, they're gonna go to the next store. We then moved on to women in banking, which refers back to the other um, talk just before mine, we wanted to find out what, how women felt about banking in the UAE. Um, we often see on our busy forum people complaining, so we were expecting it to actually be quite a negative result, but overall, it was actually really positive. So we found that 31% of the respondents were actually Emirates MBD customers. HSBC had unfortunately lost a lot of com customers due to the transfer from Lloyds. And we also found that women were actually in charge of the finances in the home, whether they were single women or women who also were in a family as well. And 45% of the women who answered the survey actually had separate bank accounts to their husband or their own solo bank accounts. And 35% of all the women were totally responsible for all the finances in their household. So it's a really important market there, and they're the ones that are doing the research and making the decisions. So the soon to be released on Sunday, the next one we've done is Women and Work in the UAE. So we wanted to find out what's motivating people here, how are their careers going? And again, we had over a thousand respondents for this one. And we've seen a massive change. I mean, I myself have been here for 15 years and we've seen a complete globalization and change in the workforce. It's not the trailing spouse syndrome anymore. Young, in intelligent women are moving here for their careers. So 40% of the women said there was more opportunity in the UAE, which is an amazing statistic and really good for the, the UAE and 67% of them had a career prior to moving. So traditionally, we'd had in our users, it always was the husband got a job, the wife followed, and sat at home. <laughs> that's not happening anymore. The last 15 years, that's really changed. They're not necessarily aged between 35 and 45 anymore. They're aged between 25 and 35. So there's a lot younger demographic of women moving here. So we also had a look at all the, the old stereotypes we're holding out here or not. And it was great because 63% said they'd never experienced any sexism at work here in the UAE. And 38% felt there was a real balance between male, female, senior management in the UAE as well. And 13% unfortunately had faced some harassment. So that's something that companies need to look at and work on. I think a lot of that could be to do with different cultures mixing up here and people seeing things as bullying and not understanding. So there's some management training that can be done there. So 48% had actually explored new talents, which goes to show how strong the entrepreneurial market is here. People have changed career path, and they're getting new opportunities and new experiences. So it's great for women's careers here. And 52% said there have been no limitations on their career because they were a woman. And 61% of women earn more in the UAE than they could in their home countries, which is also great news for women here. 
So it's a woman's world. So we're doing these surveys to really get some in-depth research um, that we can present to, obviously, our advertisers and potential clients and to understand the market here of expat women. So this is a little bit more about X Market Watch. And they're all available to be downloaded as well. We've released them under a Creative Commons license. So if anybody wants to use the reports as part of research or in-house studies as well, they're all available. Thank you for your time. Do you have any questions? You can ask me anything, whether it's about women, websites, whatever you want to know. 